everybody welcome back to tammy talks i am tammy and we are here today to talk zach and michaela so this is married at first sight season 13 episode 11 caution um feelings approaching so if you're here and you have not already please go ahead and subscribe to the channel thumbs up the video if you enjoyed the content and leave a comment or two below because there's always really good conversation in the comments. Y'all are really good for that with Married at First Sight. So let's get right into it, y'all. So the episode starts off with Michaela and Zach going to have a salsa date, salsa date lesson with um, Mirla and Gil. You know, I love when the brown couples, brown and black couples hang out together. So they go to do this date and Michaela can't dance. <laughs> so... We first see Zach and Michaela kind of talking about it in the car. And Zach has always wanted to learn salsa dancing. And Michaela, f f off jump, didn't really seem too, like, excited about going. And I noticed that once Zach was like, yeah, because, you know, we can't we can't let Marilyn and Gil, you know, show us up. Like, just kind of playing around, trying to have fun. Um, Michaela kept saying, we? We? Who's this we? And he was like, are we not going to dance together? Are we are we not going to dance together? And um, she was like, we'll see. And I knew from that moment that that date night was not going to go the way that Zach envisioned. So they get there and they're doing the little, you know, whatever. I can't dance either. So I'm not really judging Michaela, but Michaela can't dance. And Michaela... Like, I don't know if she was threatened because Mirla was, like, dancing. Because Mirla, they was like, Mirla, can you do it? She said, I have rhythm. <laughs> Which means I, I can dance. I got rhythm. I can pick up a step. So, like, they had the girls standing, Michaela and Mirla, standing Zach and Gil while they got the direction on the basic steps. Michaela messed up once. Once, y'all. And then it was time for them to pair up. She went and sat down and said she didn't want to do it. And it very much gave Vincent from, was that last season? Yes, it gave Vincent from last season vibes when he couldn't do the salsa dancing and went and sat his big ass down too because he didn't want to embarrass himself on TV. So Michaela went and sat down and Zach had to dance with the instructor, the male instructor. And I was like, come on, Michaela. And everybody was like, what are you doing? Come on, like. We having fun. You don't want to do it? And she was like, no. I was like, wow. So you can see the frustration. Um, you can see the frustration on Zach's face the entire time. And you can see the frustration on Zach's face the entire time. And he was just kind of over it because it's like, what are you doing? Why are you being like this? So afterwards, they all go sit down. And Michaela, uh, Zach asked, he asked Marilyn and Gil if they enjoyed the lesson. Michaela said, I did. And everybody was like, girl, you didn't even participate. <laughs> so Gil, um, Zach was like, you didn't participate. And Mir um, not Marilyn, uh, Michaela was like, yes, I did. And Gil was like, so you think that was participating? She turned and, you know, she did the squint because all she did was squint at people. So, you know, she did squint to him. So, I was like, she about to, she about to go in on you, Gil. But Gil asks all the right questions. Do you think that was truly participating? Um, this is something that he wanted to do. Why didn't you do it? And her thing was, like, Zach asked her too. Like, did you just not want to dance? Did you not like salsa? She said, I just didn't want to do it. And Gil said, is this, like, how your relationship is? Because... If there's something that he wants to do, like, do you just not do it? Or, and she was like, I just didn't want to do it. I feel like a relationship is at a stalemate. And Zach was like, befuddled. <laughs> and I, I think what gets, what irritates me about Zach is they'll have these moments where they had the conversation at the pool where he told her he did not see a future, um, Prior to that, they had the conversation at the house where he told her that she had a fundamental, basically a fundamental character flaw that would not allow her to 
to change or grow or evolve from like the the snap judgments that she makes. Like Zach kind of tells her that she has these flaws, but then is confused when she says them back to him. Well, you said this, so I just don't know now. You know what I mean? Like when she asked Zach last week, do you like me for me? And he was like, why would you ask that? Because you said I had a character flaw, my guy. That's why I'm asking. So Zach is like, well, no. I mean, I said I don't see a future now, but it doesn't mean I don't, like, won't ever kind of see a future, you know? Because, you know, I could see a future later. A future could come. And it's like, Zach, you're talking in circles, my guy. You're talking in circles. So Gil has to break it down, and he's like, she, he does not, just because he doesn't see a future now doesn't mean he will never see a future. And Zach was like, yeah, totally, totally. And I'm like, why are y'all having this conversation, this very personal marital conversation in front of Marilyn and Gil? Because even though Gossip Gil was all into it, Marilyn was sitting there like, I don't know if Marilyn don't gossip or if she's not going to gossip on TV. But Marilyn do not be with Chatty Patty Gill over there, like, trying to get in everybody's business. But I just know, at the end of the night, when they are in bed eating chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookies, macaroons, and drinking champagne, that they are pillow talking up the ass about these other couples. So, Michaela said that she feels that, you know, they're moving backwards and not forward because of the, the roadblocks. Basically, it's the roadblocks that Zach has set. And Zach just kind of tells her, like, I'm trying. I just, you know, I, I'm, we have to get past this. You have to kind of allow me room to get past this. So, for their one month anniversary, they, uh, Michaela rents out, like, a music studio. And they have like a little, looks like a charcuterie board in there, champagne. And it's just, it's real sexy. It just looks, it's real, it's like a cute little vibe, um, a cute setup. So that was the happiest I have seen Zach since he got married. Like, and it was cute. He was like at the piano, like they're playing around on the instruments. And he's telling Michaela, you know, girl, come sit right here next to me. So it was a really cute vibe. They had a good talk about where they want to go forward in their relationship from now, how they want to grow with one another, you know, what they're looking forward to. Um, and they talk about what they have learned so far about themselves in the marriage. And Michaela said that she has learned how to stop getting in her own way. And Zach asked her, was it because she self-sabotages? And she was like, mm, yeah, self-sabotage. Because she like she knows that she does. She does self-sabotage. Um, and then Zach said he has learned to think about other people's point of view. Zach has acknowledged that he has a very particular way of thinking about things, a very strict set of morals and foundations, which I feel like a lot of these couples do. And he has come to realize that the way that he thinks about something is not necessarily oh it didn't cool the way he thinks about something is not necessarily the right way or the way that everybody else sees things so i think i i feel like I, we want to say we see growth on their part but again we have seen the trailer for the entire season and we know that a blow up is still still to come but for right now they're in a good place um, so then Zach planned a staycation for them, kind of like a, a honeymoon redo for them at a hotel. And he bought her a bracelet that had their wedding date on there. Super, super cute. He picked her up again and tossed her on the bed like they did before. Well, like he did on their wedding night. Um, and then they're like playing with the rose petals in each other's faces. It's very sexy, very sensual. And then they're like, you ready to go sleep? And that's really the cue for the producers. Y'all can go ahead and leave the room now. Then all of a sudden, it's like two hours later. They say, yeah, we well, we got hungry. So we're outside now having like, what they say, Mexican food or something. And I said, oh, y'all got hungry? Y'all woke up randomly starving, huh? Y'all had the sex again. And that's why y'all are back to being in a good place. Because you had the sex. Um... So then they are at the, the group dinner that everybody had at, in the episode, and Gil asks everybody, are you 
growing in life with your friend, your spouse, or falling in love. Zach said that he really likes her and he's hoping to get to the falling in love place but they're in a really good place they've had setbacks but he likes where they are he can definitely see himself you know getting to that point of loving her and then Michaela said that she are she knows that she loves Zach she's already told Zach that she loves him so it's not a secret everybody's like oh yay and it's like y'all just don't know what's coming in probably two episodes but so far, so so far, so good with Zach and Michaela. Um, I like the fact that they are both acknowledging the the pitfalls that they are bringing to the relationship. They're acknowledging their faults, and they're willing to grow and accept each other's flaws for now, at least. If you have made it this far, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the videos. Um, make sure to go ahead and check out videos for the other four couples. I'm Tammy. I will talk to you guys next week. Ah!